Charles, it is so nice to get to talk to you again. We we first met back in Monterey last year. That's right, almost this time of the year. Yeah, had a really good talk back then. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to talk more about true potato mm -hmm. seed with you. I mean, we know that there's a lot of interest out there right now in true mm -hmm. potato seed. And so could you maybe give me like a 10,000 foot view of where we are regarding commercialization with Solenta? Actually, that's a really good question. I appreciate it, actually, because our company's going through, for the last couple of years, a transition from being an R&D-focused company to being a commercial company. And over that kind of two to 18-month uh, time period, we've really developed, and so has the market and the demand. So let's talk about those key markets then. You just mentioned the market and the demand. So what markets are you at Solenta targeting? I mean, there's lots of eyes mm -hmm. on what your next steps are. Yeah, so like we talked about in our last discussion, we still have a great deal of focus on the underserved markets in the world. So you think about Africa, you think about Southeast Asia. But now we're seeing interest from places like Central America, also underserved. And we're even seeing Eastern Europe and some specialty markets within Northwest Europe think about organic seed, think about these very small tubers, quick cooking. We're really seeing a tremendous amount of interest in that because we have seed available and we have genetics that allow growers to reduce the chemicals they use to combat late blight and things like that. Nice. So since there are so many eyes on you and what you're going to do next, can you tell me what your vision is for the next few years? Yeah, look, I, I think we're singularly focused on transforming the potato system around the world. And if, if I look five, ten years into the future, we believe at Salenta that direct sowing of these very small true seeds is going to become the norm. Along with that, of course, we hope to bring more value to growers to increase the quality, increase the robustness, and obviously yield and nutritional content as well. Sure. So we talked a little bit about how you're transitioning from R&D to yeah. more of a commercial type of an yeah. operation. So what does that mean for the seed industry? Well, for the seed industry, it means we're becoming more like a mainstream integrated seed company. And we'll be seeing potatoes brought into those discussions a lot more than they have in the past. So how do you stay innovative? Uh, look, Salenta at heart is an innovative company. What we're doing in R&D is absolutely groundbreaking in the potato world. That innovation goes directly into how we sell seeds, how we engage with our customers, and, and how we work around the world to really, we hope, start to even further alleviate food insecurity and hunger. That's really what it's all about. Indeed. So what are you most excited about going forward? Look, I am really excited about bringing our new products that are more robust, that are higher yielding and higher quality to even more customers. And with our transition into kind of a commercial company, we're really increasing that customer-centric view. And for us, that keeps us grounded but it also delivers what the growers need. Well, I can't wait to see what Salenta does next. Thanks for joining me today. Yeah, it was great to catch up again. Thanks for having the discussion. Hi, Marcus. So nice to meet you. Um, could you introduce yourself to everyone that might be watching this video? Yes, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Mark Hogendorn and recently started at Salenta uh, as global sales lead. Uh, I'm very happy to be able to join the company and the revolution they are into. Uh, uh, and that's basically why I started. Great. I recently learned that Salenta is moving more from R&D to commercialization. Correct. And uh, so there's a transition involved, and that's why you've been brought on. Can you tell me about your role and what your vision is for that? Yeah, so um, that is correct, actually. And uh, so basically, it's also a complement to the organizational development and all the things that we've been doing in the past, uh, what makes us able to now increase the product management and sales uh, uh, department capabilities. Uh, that's one of the things I do. Basically, I guide the strategic growth in key markets, but also, for instance, team personal development, and just to make sure that we get the market fit, uh, because that's what we're looking for together. We have the product fit, and now the market fit, and that's the reason why I'm here. So what are you looking forward to the most? Well, I think uh, I've been uh, working with Solinta uh, for over a couple of years already, but now I'm working in Solinta. Uh, I mean, I've seen uh, the, the organization developing to what it is today, 
uh, the outlook is really something that is uh, challenging and that's what I feel very comfortable with in accepting the challenge and move ahead. Because I really think we have unique uh, propositions uh, that we should bring to the market because I also feel that it's an obligation to deliver on sustainable innovations. Uh, and that's why I'm here for it. And that's what I foresee in the future that we can and we'll make it happen.